What's the main way we talk to people these days? Phones. They're all around us. In 48 countries around the world, there is at least one phone per person. But imagine if these devices made you go crazy to make you want to kill the person next to you, even if they were a close friend or loved one. This is what happened in this book, Cell by Stephen King. At 3.03 on October 1st, a pulse goes through every phone and causes everyone to hear it to go crazy. What's your first instinct when you see something horrific happen? You call the police. This caused even more people to be mutated. And the main character, like everyone else, is caught up in the middle of this. The main character, his name was Clay Riddle. It says in the book that when people become crazy, or one of them, a man in a business suit was down on his knees beside the dog and had it in a neck hold and appeared to be chewing on its ear. This is one of Clay's first major sighting of these crazies. It only gets what some people would say worse. Uh, before Clay could do anything, Pixie Light darted her pretty little face forward with an ear, with snake-like speed, bared her undoubtedly strong young teeth, and battened on the power suit woman's neck. Th there was an enormous jet of blood. The Pixie girl stuck her face in it and appeared to be bathing in it, or perhaps even drinking from it. These are some of the most, more gruesome parts of the story. It gets bad again when the author describes a man shooting himself in the head with a revolver. Ray pulled the cr trigger. The soft-nosed American defender around took the entire top of his head off. It's funny that the only reason Clay is doing this is because he wants to find his son and a wife that live in Maine, and wants and went to the so-called safe zone, where, safe zone where the crazies were recruiting, recruiting by forcing the normals to make phone calls to become crazy. He finds his son there, and one of the characters has a theory that when you make a second call as a crazy, you become normal again. We never find out because the story ends. Uh, just as he hands the son's son the phone in tears.